good morning student today we discuss about today we discuss about same topic types of atomic radius what is crystal radius what is van der waals radius and covalent radius we discuss Half of the internuclear distance. 
half of the intermediate distance between two atoms which are held by covalent bond. So covalent bond. This is chlorine atom. This is chlorine atom. In between these two, this is covalent bond. Here, van der Waals force. This is van der Waals force. Van der Waals force. So this is intermolecular distance is intermolecular distance. Intermolecular distance is 198 picometers. Therefore, therefore, chlorine van der Waals radius is van der Waals chlorine covalent radius is how much? 198 by 2. Therefore. So 99 picometers. 99 picometers. So here types of atomic radius. It is of three types. First one metallic radius. Second one van der Waals radius. Third one covalent radius. So metallic radius is applicable only for metals. Only for metals. So in metal crystal, two metal atoms are connected by metallic bond. Half of the intermolecular distance between two adjacent atoms in metal crystal. So this is copper atom, this is copper atom. In between these two, these two metallic bond is there, metallic bond. Therefore, metallic bond, so copper atom, copper atom. From here to here distance is called intermolecular distance. Intermolecular distance. The distance is how much? 256 here to here 256 therefore one copper atom size is how much copper metal radius is 256 by 2 therefore 120 128 128 picometers it is applicable only metal crystals it is applicable only for metal crystals second one van der Waals radius so this is applicable for molecular substances, molecular substances and also inert gases, inert gases. These two are applicable for these two substances. So half of the intermediate distance between two adjacent atoms of two different molecules, two different molecules. This is A molecule, this is B molecule. So, which are held by weak van der Waals forces. Here, van der Waals force is there. Weak van der Waals forces in between these two atoms. So, in between these two atoms, van der Waals forces is there. For example, it is one molecule, it is one molecule. So, here, this is two atoms are connected here. Here, two atoms are connected. These two atoms are adjacent atoms. From the center of this atom to this atom is called is called intermolecular distance half. From here to here half is called van der Waals radius. In between these two molecules, the force is called van der Waals force. The force is called van der Waals force. Therefore, this is second one. It is applicable for molecular substance and inert gases. So from here to here 360 picometers. Therefore, the radius is. 360 by 2, 180 picometers. Covalent radius. Covalent radius is applicable only for non metals. Non metals. So, half of the intermediate distance between, between two atoms which are held by covalent bond. Here, this is covalent bond. So, intermolecular distance of two chlorine atoms is 198. Therefore, Chlorine atom covalent radius is 198 by 2. Therefore, 99 picometers is the covalent radius of chlorine atom. So, chlorine atom van der Waals radius is different. Chlorine atom covalent radius is different. Van der Waals radius is 40 percent more than 40 percent more than covalent radius. So how this is 99. So this is 99. That is that is 180 picometers. That means it is 40% more than that one. 
Okay, so this is about this is about this is about types of covalent radius and atomic radius.